Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and if you or someone you know or someone you love is living with cancer or managing cancer then this video is going to be really really important okay because when we're living with ca cancer when we're managing cancer adopting a really robust evidence-based supplementation regime is really really important it needs to inform a fundamental part of a robust evidence-based cancer survivorship protocol and every so often a new supplement breaks through into the mainstream that offers you know real promise that cultivates real excitement in the in the world of clinical research in the world of clinical medicine around the potential of this supplement to really positively impact upon cancer biology to offer profound anti-cancer benefits and in this video i want to talk about one such supplement and that supplement is the is the celebrated apigenin okay apigenin it's something that you it's a supplement you may have heard of but there's probably quite a high chance you haven't it hasn't really gained the traction and the exposure uh in europe that it's cultivating in america at the moment but i think that will probably change i think we're going to see a lot more about apigenin for very good reasons so firstly um what is apigenin Okay, so apigenin is a, a natural chemical found in fruits and vegetables. It's actually a flavonoid, one of the most important health boosting, disease preventing uh, phytonutrients you know, found anywhere in the vegetable kingdom. And apigenin is one of the most ubiquitous, one of the most widely spread um, uh, flavonoids found within the, in the vegetable kingdom. It's in most fruits, it's in most most vegetables but often at quite low levels okay so to to get the levels of apigenin in our blood to a high enough level supplementation is really really justified and very very clinically valid um and it's shot into the limelight over the last five years. Apigenin has been known about, obviously, for, for decades. Um, and the health potential inherent within apigenin has been known about for many years. But in the context of cancer survivorship and uh, cytotoxic cancer killing effects, it's only really in the last five to six years that it's exploded into the research limelight. And that's for five key reasons. And I want to go through these reasons. So firstly, apigenin has been proven in clinical studies to induce a process called apoptosis. Apoptosis is programmed cell death. So every cell in the body has a message to die after, after a certain period of time to maintain the equilibrium of our body. Cancer cells don't have that message or they avoid that message. They evade that message so they can keep on proliferating. Okay, apigenin has been proven to induce the, the, that, apop, uh, that apoptosis message, that message to self-destruct. So that has profound implications on, on the destruction, the natural destruction of cancer cell growth. Point number two is that apigenin has been shown to suppress one of the most important um, anti-cancer mechanisms in the body, and that's angiogenesis. Okay, so angiogenesis is the process by which tumors pull in new blood vessels to fuel growth. Okay, for a cancer to grow, it needs an ever increasing supply of oxygen rich blood and nutrients. To do that, they pull in, they attract new blood vessels to themselves to fuel that growth. Apigenin has been shown to sever that mechanism. It's been shown to suppress angiogenesis. And through doing so, it helps to restrict the nutrient and oxygen supply to cancer cells and tumors. And through doing so, slow growth progression and uh, invasion rates. So really key mechanism. Point three is that um, apigenin has been shown to stimulate tumor suppressor genes. Really, really important. We have a selection of genes in the body that are essential for um, containing, controlling, suppressing cancer cell growth. Okay, very often when we've got cancer, those genes are deactivated. Apigenin has been shown to reactivate them and through doing so stimulate the 
a better genetic control of any cancer burden in our body. Point number uh, four is that apigenin has been shown to disrupt um, cell cycle, uh, uh, cancer cell cycle um, journeys. Okay, every uh, cancer cell you know has this cycle of growth, division, replication, proliferation. Okay, apigenin has been shown to significantly disrupt that process, and through doing so, obviously has the mechanism to slow down cancer growth, spread, and invasion. And the final point is that apigenin is a powerful, powerful anti-inflammatory, and that's key. Virtually every mechanism that cancer uses to invade neighboring tissue requires a degree of inflammation. Through suppress through suppressing that inflammatory pathway, you really put the brakes on cancer cell biology. So each one of those points is sacrosanct, but collectively it really shines a light on how profoundly anti-cancer apigenin is. And as such, I think if you're living with cancer, you're managing cancer or someone you love is, this is a supplement that's really worth considering given the robustness of the evidence and the safety profile of it. In terms of dose, you're aiming for around 50 to 100 milligrams a day. But as with all supplements and all herbal medicines, if you're going through cancer treatment, if you're having cancer treatment, please discuss apigenin with your consultant before starting to use it in case there's any risk of interaction between apigenin and any conventional medicines you're, to you're taking. But aside from that caveat, this is a really powerful uh, supplement. The evidence is compelling. It's creating a real buzz in the cancer research community. So please do explore. Uh, any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, as always, it'd be great if you could subscribe to the channel. That way you'll stay updated when new videos are released. Um, and I'll see you soon.